everybody, it's Deb here with Creative Life. Thanks so much for joining me today, and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. You guys, I have a fun little project we're going to do today. We're going to make a little tag folio using this beautiful scrapbook kit from Trace Jolie. Now, with this kit, you get the Vintage Orchard Laser Cut Elements, and you get the 12 by 12 paper. This is the Vintage Orchard paper collection by 49 and market and then you get three flowers uh, packets of flowers to go with this you also get one of the uh, laser cut chipboard pieces with this kit it is the little pumpkin laser chipboard piece but we used that on one of the cards that i recently did last week and here it is and so we went ahead and used that piece on this card and i'll go ahead and tag this video and how we created this beautiful background using the mixed media kit so uh, i'll like i'll go ahead and tag this at the end of the video so you can go ahead and watch it so, because we did a couple of different things, I showed you guys a couple of different techniques, what to use with the alcohol inks in that kit. So, um, so yeah, so we're going to go ahead and use the scrapbook kit today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to start, you're going to need two pieces of chipboard that are six and seven and three eighths, and then two pieces of paper that are the same width. And um, then what I did is I took my pencil and I just kind of made some lines that to form a large tag. And then I used the little corner there as my little template so my sides would be even. And then I cut that out. I had two of my sides there and I just put those to the side just in case I needed them for to measure anything. Then I used my, my little my first large tag as a template to go ahead and create the rest of my large tags and i did that with all of my little tags even the pages that i did for the middle middle part of this book now i know i said i was going to do a folio and that's what i intended to do but this turns out to be like a little journal album once I cut out all of my pages, I went ahead and distressed them, and then I went ahead and inked them all with Vintage Photo Ink. This is where I pulled out my punch, and I went ahead and punched all of my items. Now, the punch that I'm using is that um, planner punch that makes the little slots, so you can go ahead and use the discs to hold this little album together. And this is where um, I thought it would be really cool or cute to create a little uh, album this way. And so, again, this is where I'm just punching everything in all of my pages. And you'll need five pieces of patterned paper as your pages, okay? And then you'll need four pieces, two to cover the front and two to cover the back. Now here are all the pages. Um, I did add one more, so there are five pages in all. And then what I did is, again, I went ahead and took my large tag, and I just went ahead and used that as my template for all of my pages. Now the pages are five and seven eighths by seven and a quarter, okay? And remember, our front and back chipboard pieces for our booklet are six by seven and three eighths and those are two chipboard pieces that are going to be covered with your pattern paper of front and back okay so there's the back and then you'll have five pages in between after you cut everything then you're going to go ahead and you're going to place your discs now here is where i'm just making sure everything's going to um, kind of line up in everything and then i'm going to add my discs in to the little slots and after you get all of your papers inside of your little slots there on your discs, then you can go ahead and move this back and forth. It works really well. And I just wanted to give a shout out real quick and say thank you, Kim Murray, for this idea. Um, it was such a good idea. I absolutely love it. So anyway, there you go. 
Okay, so next I went ahead and I used these leftovers from the 12 by 12 chipboard piece that I cut my large tags out of. And these are, like I said, just the leftover pieces. And I thought they would be really nice to incorporate inside of this little book. So I went ahead and used some of the pe the pieces that were scraps left over from cutting the 12 by 12 pattern papers for the tags. I'm going to go ahead and cover use those to cover up these chipboard pieces. So that way we can use all use up all of our scraps and hopefully you won't have a whole lot left. <laughs> Next, I grabbed these little notebook pieces from uh, a, a little notebook that I had, <laughs> and I went ahead and placed some tape on the back of these, and then I went ahead and inked them all up with the vintage photo ink, and I'm going to lay these down as little journal pieces so people can journal on them, and I thought that this was a really a good idea. Um, I went ahead and tore one in half, and then kind of just inked around the bottom part, um, added, again, added tape, now you can use glue if you want, but only use a little bit of glue uh, around the edges, okay? So that way it doesn't seep through. And I went ahead and just spread them out, uh, you know, sporadically throughout the book. And you'll see here in a minute that um, it looks really, it looks really nice in this book. I really love this idea. So that's why I'm like kind of, it is, it's kind of like a little journal, but it's kind of like a little, um, a little album that you can stick photos inside after I started putting this together. Um, it just started coming through in a different light and so I hope you guys are really enjoying this little tutorial. So once I covered up all of the little chipboard pieces I put them in. Next we're going to go ahead and make our waterfall and you're going to take those strips that you have in your scrap pile and cut them down to one inch and score them at a half inch so you have some strips that are that you can fold in half like I'm doing here. Your pattern papers are going to measure at four by five and what we're going to do is we're going to use these little strips to create our little hinge okay and I like doing this a lot because it's a great way to use up a lot of your scraps and you don't have a lot of those like long strips left over so um, and uh, you can also use your pattern paper to make your photo mats for so you so it's kind of like two for one <laughs> so <laughs> and so you're going to go ahead and take your those little strips glue them on the back with the fold at the edge okay just like I showed you and you're going to do this for all of those pieces okay so you're going to go ahead and keep doing adding that strip to the edge of that uh, four by five piece of paper. Okay, so next I laid out where I wanted all of my pieces and then I went ahead and placed some little bit of tape on the back, it's double back tape, and then I added my glue uh, on top of that tape once I removed the backing. And then next you're going to go ahead and you're going to line up your waterfall piece to the edge of your tag like I'm doing here. It's not quite at an on the edge but it's like right at the tips of where the tag you know slants in and then you're going to get your second piece and you're going to go ahead and do the same thing add your glue to the back of that little strip and slide that up to the edge of the other piece just like I'm doing here and then you're going to fold all those down make sure that they all line up and then just kind of there you go. Now you're done. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other page. And this is going to be such a fun little waterfall where you keep little memories. You can journal. You can do whatever you want. I mean, you don't have to put, just because you have a waterfall doesn't mean you have to put photos on them. You can, and that's what most people do with them. But you can also use them as little journal spots. So here you're going to lay two magnets down and what I was showing was I didn't want to cover up that little bird so here I'm going to go ahead and I'm just laying my magnets down and I'm on top of each other and I'm going to add this little 
uh, cut apart piece on top of there. Now I had to turn my magnet around because it wasn't um, the correct way. So it wasn't sticking to the card. So I went ahead and just pulled it off. And then now I'm sticking down this one. So that is that side. And now we're going to go ahead and do the other side. And it's the same concept. You're going to go ahead and you're going to add your glue to the little strip on that back of that waterfall. Glue that down. Okay, and then you're going to add glue to the other one. And I'm using my scissors because uh, to peel off the backing of that tape. Then add the glue. You're going to slide that up right to the edge of the other uh, little flap there, okay, that you glued down. And same thing with this one. You're going to go ahead and add glue and slide that one up to the one that you just laid down. Okay, so now all your little flaps are laid down, and then this is where you're going to need your magnets. Okay, and again, we're going to go ahead and place these little magnets. I don't want to cover up the little images of the front waterfall piece, so I went ahead and laid the magnets down to where I thought they it would look super cute, you know, with that little B tag sitting there. And so I went ahead and laid some magnets down and then we're going to go ahead. I'm going to peel the backing off of that, add my little card, press it down. And there you go. So that is going to be how your closure is going to be for your waterfall. <laughs> I think it's a cute idea. And then you can go ahead and add a piece of paper to sit on top of those magnets if you want. Um, I had originally thought I would use those, but I ended up using something else. Okay, so now we're getting ready to decorate this page. And I used one of the laser cut pieces from the kit. And this I went ahead and placed on the bottom there and added some glue. I did cut a little like in, be in between the, the disc piece so it would fit in between there nicely. And it worked really well. And then um, I went and came in and because it was kind of like a little tight fit, I came in and just lifted up the little edges there so I could fit some little cards in there. Next, I used another laser piece to go ahead and um, lay down on this little uh, notebook page. And so, and then I added a little apple there. So cute. And again, I, just little simple things that I added to each piece um, I thought was really nice. And then I went ahead and for this one, this is one of the chipboard pieces that we added in, right? And so here I, I went ahead and slid that right underneath that notebook page. And then I went ahead and I just folded it like um, about a, what a quarter inch on the bottom there. And um, then I went ahead and glued up the edge and then glued down the back and slid that up underneath that little area. And I didn't know if I was going to stick anything in that little uh, paper in that little pocket or not but you could if you wanted to and so i went ahead and just grabbed some pieces from the laser cut kit and i just started like mounting them on there and this is a layering you know piece that you can do um i really have gotten more into layering i am still kind of learning <laughs> because you know to me it's it's kind of difficult you have to find the right pieces and really kind of line up everything really good and um so it kind of you know coordinates well and i think i did pretty good on this one so <laughs> but um yeah so this was really fun to do i really enjoyed this piece and i went ahead and cut out the words and um just stuck them on there and so here and then i went ahead and lifted them up with some foam tape and just have fun when you're decorating you know it's it I to me decorating is your projects is kind of really um to me it's it's so relaxing it because this is where you can really get into it and kind of just lose yourself in 
your thoughts and you know where you want things and how it should look and stuff like that and I just really love decorating uh, my projects so and that was it and then I used some flowers from an old from another kit and I'll go ahead and if that kit is still available I'll go ahead and list that down below and then here what I did is I went ahead and grabbed those little tabs that we have in the kit it's actually the laser cuts and um, I thought these would look really super cute at the edge of the waterfalls pieces so I went ahead and stuck the different colors on the edges there and that way you can write either the date or you can write a name or you know whatever you wanted to do or um, maybe you just want to leave it as a decoration or something but I thought it was a really nice way to use these little tabs and um, since our waterfall you know is you know kind of a, a step type thing and it you know lifts up and everything you can just place these little tabs one right underneath the other and they have the different fall colors they have brown the red and the yellow and the green and so I thought that those would be really pretty to use so here I went ahead and I wanted to place a little um, a tuck spot on the back of this page here that's on the left side and so I went ahead and grabbed some pieces and just started tearing them and then here I'm measuring how much I need and so I went ahead and glued these two together but before I did that I went ahead and distressed it because I distressed all of my other items uh, I went ahead and tried to remember to distress most of my items that I put in here so um, that way everything would be cohesive so uh, once I got this together I went ahead and glued them down and then I just thought it looked really cool with that wood paper on top of the other uh, the foliage paper and I really think that this these two really complement each other and then I went ahead and glued this down and then I remembered I didn't want glue on top of there so I went ahead and just grabbed my finger and removed the glue but um, you can use a napkin in case you glue that down like I did <laughs> you can remove it from the back with the napkin or or your wipey whatever you want and then I added glue to spots that weren't glued down very well so I went ahead and went back through burnished it down and then added the page back into the book and then since this page kind of had that woodsy look I went ahead and added those two back cards to this piece right here I just love that and next we're going to go ahead and do the front so this is the front of our book and I went ahead and grabbed that frame and placed it right above the bird and I just had such a good time decorating this part <laughs> I really did and I went ahead and added some of the most of this that is on this page is the laser cuts from the kit um, so I went ahead and just tore out all of the laser pieces and put them all in front of me and so so I could see everything and kind of grab what I needed and um, I really liked this little circle so I cut that out um, I did fussy cut out some other stuff from the back of the laser title page um, is what I call it um, and so here I'm just I cut out that little butterfly cut out the good times and um, just started playing around with where I wanted things now just where I laid it didn't mean that that's where it's gonna be but those are items that I really wanted to have on top of this page and so I used up just about every every laser cut piece that was in this kit is gone um, I think I have a few I think I just have the little tabs left um, that were from the kit but everything else is pretty much gone I have uh, just a little bit of scraps from the 12 by 12 papers but um, we used everything uh, throughout our whole um, month we used a lot of the mixed media and we used a lot of the scrapbook uh, paper from this kit 
from, from the scrapbook kit. And um, so here I'm just kind of adding things around and I pushed this up so you guys could see exactly what I'm doing here. So here I just added some glue to the bottom of that little uh, twig there and it's the grapevine and then I added some uh, foam tape to the back of the good times because I wanted to have that pop up just a bit here I added the butterfly and then I added the two little tags and just placed those right there up in that corner I thought that looked really good so just kind of placed those down then um, I really wanted that little sign and so I stuck that into behind the apple and um, so I, there, there were two signs I think there's two or three that were left and so I went ahead and cut it down just a bit kind of angled it and just kind of stuck it in there and I thought that that looked really cute so we used that and the apple basket uh, I just thought that that looked really cute. We used the leaves. The leaves are popped up a bit just to let you know. So I did pop those up with some foam tape with in the basket um, it is a little bit uh, popped up. And um, so then this little scarecrow guy is going to be popped up with some foam tape on the back. And um, so I hope that you guys are getting some great ideas to go ahead and, um, you know, fix your your pages however you would like and did add two of those leaf you know the piles of leaves on there because I wanted the scarecrow like to be covered up with the leaves and so I just thought that that looked so cool and um, I didn't want to cover up that little bee because I really liked him and <laughs> so so I went ahead and added you know I just couldn't figure out where I wanted that little guy but I think we either we used him in here or maybe we used him in another area I don't remember <laughs> so <laughs> I just knew it needed one more item in there and so I stuck it oh there he goes <laughs> so I stuck it right there behind the bushes <laughs> or behind the bushel of leaves <laughs> and um, so sometimes you just gotta kind of play around with things to see where you want them and I was going to stick this pumpkin in there, but it kind of stuck out a bit. And I thought, you know what, I'll save it for another page. And so that is basically the um, all what we did for this little front of the book. And I really think it turned out so cute. I really love it. I love how this turned out. And um, I'm going to stick this little heart right on the front, right next to... Um, uh, on top of the little basket. I thought that looked really cute. And um, yeah, we're done. I think I added, well, I did add. So I added some odds and ends still. Um, and I think, you know, I just was really having a good time <laughs> decorating this. This paper was so fun to use. I hope that you guys get a chance to use it. Um, it was really fun. Okay, so we finished this cute little book, and this turned out so stinking cute. I hope you all like it. I absolutely love how this turned out, and these little discs are awesome to use for a little folio or for a, you know, just a, a little booklet, mini album, whatever you want to do. Now, this is actually kind of like um, a journal slash mini album um, because I did put some things in here that you can put journaling uh, items in and stuff. Um, you can definitely add to this book because of the little discs. So you could definitely add to this. And there are little tuck spots in here that you can add some journaling things to. So to start off with, I took some of the little cut apart cards and put them in the front for a nice space here. Uh, for tucking some um, journaling cards in here. And they just tuck right in side of this little um, lace, paper lace embellishment. And so that looks, that's so cute. And then, um, and then I put gather together. There are a lot of these little words here and a lot of the gather togethers. So I went ahead and stuck them uh 
throughout the book. And um, so here is one little, this is actually chipboard, okay? And so what I did is I colored up some lined paper, okay? And then I took one of those, uh, this is actually from the laser cut embellishment pack. And then I went ahead and fussy cut out this little apple and that's got, I just glued that on there. So that way you could have a journaling place. And then on the back, same thing. Now, again, I went ahead and used a lot of the little laser cuts uh, from that laser cut embellishment packet that you get with this collection. And so cute, you guys. I absolutely love the laser cuts. And then I added a little journaling, uh, just a little piece of paper that I kind of ripped up a little bit and stuck that on there. I thought that was really super cute idea. Um, here I stuck a little photo mat down here with the bits and pieces of the twig uh, embellishment, laser embellishment that was in the kit. And then uh, one of the apples that I cut out. And then here is uh, the favorite photo embellishment um, sentiment and then you turn it and then here's a larger photo and here you could put filled with gratitude i put two little embellishment hearts a, one of the little um, bows that's in the laser cut embellishment packet and then um i just put the photo here and so i thought that was super cute on this one we did a small pocket and um then what i did is i just went ahead and decorated a little booklet that you can write in. And um, so here I added the little uh, chipboard piece that you can find in the Trace Joe Lee shop. Okay. And this is uh, just with the pumpkin and the squash with the little leaves and in a little uh, crate. And I think that is super cute. And then again, I used the twigs with the little um, sign sentiment and then some flowers that I had from a past kit that just tucks right inside here in that little pocket. And then here I decorated the pocket with some leaves and the little rake, um, the little scarecrow, and then some buttons. And I loved that little bee, so I didn't want to cover him up. Now I did raise the leaves with some foam tape and I thought that was really cute. You turn this over and here is a belly band. Haven't done a belly band in a long time. And so what I did is I just stuck two photos in here. Now definitely you can add two more mats on the back of each one of these. So that would give you four photos right in this little area right here. And or you could definitely add in your little papers, okay? And, and for journaling. So if you wanted to do that, you can do that. And the ink that I used throughout all of this was my vintage photo ink. Okay. And so these just go right, slide right inside of the little belly band right here. And then he, this one right here is actually a little tuck spot. Um, I didn't, I kind of ran out of little things to stick in there, but if you wanted to, you could definitely um, grab one of your little cards. You could stick a little card in there, um, a little pictures, whatever you want, or you could stick some more little um, uh, papers for, um, you know, journaling. So if you wanted to do that, you could definitely do that. I just thought that I loved this butterfly and the leaf and against this wooden background. I thought it was super cute. And again, this is another wood piece. Now the wood pieces that I'm using are actually from uh, leftovers from the chipboard pieces that we cut for the front and the back of the booklet okay and then you flip this over and then on the back here you have another little photo here uh, piece and then you can go ahead and uh, stick your little embellishments here making memories and a little apple and then here on this side you have gather and then this page is just because of this piece here, I really didn't want to cover that up. I love that that layering look. And so I went ahead and added another little twig here. I added um, some more little ticket 
pieces here and then added a journaling little spot here along with the little um, uh, laser cut piece here. So here on this side we have two waterfalls and they are magnetized and that's how we did our closure for these. Okay, so they just flip on like that and on the front and the back you can add your photos and then right here as well. So I went ahead and used some paper to cover that and same thing with this one. Now I did add some of those little tabs that come in the laser cut kit and I did go ahead and place those on the back there so um so yeah so there's that so on this next page what i did is i went ahead and i uh cut out these two cards that are in the kit and um in the paper collection and then i went ahead and then tore these two pieces from the pages the pattern papers and then um, glued them together and then went ahead and glued them down just right here and here so that way you have a nice little tuck spot and you can definitely cover this up with photos um, you could do the back with photos um, you could or you could just leave it and journal on them on the back you can add some paper and journal on those um, I just thought that that was super cute way to um, display those little cards. They're so cute. And so here on this one, this is another chipboard piece. Now I went ahead and added this little card here, um, but um, this is actually uh, from one of the front pieces that, uh, that we cut up from the front of the main page. The uh, title page is what I call it, and then the back uh, in the front of it has like the photos of all of the the pattern papers on the front and that is one of these pieces and um, I went ahead and I stuck a little journaling spot here but you could definitely put a photo back behind here so if you wanted to um, you could definitely and I just I don't know if I have a big enough piece let me see you could definitely, I don't have a big enough piece, but let's say this is a photo or whatever. You could definitely stick that right behind there, you know, journal about your photo and then just stick your photo right behind there if you wanted to do that. And um, I just liked this little piece because I thought it was super cute and um, yeah, so I didn't want to throw it away. <laughs> so it has a nice little sentiment up here. It says gather together. And then I put the little heart right there. And then here on this side, this is another little journaling spot. And then I just left this blank. So if you wanted to, you could put a little photo here. You could put a, a, a nice four. Uh, you could cover this whole thing up and just put a four by six photo. You could actually do that and put photos on both sides of this piece and then here on this one this is another little photo area where I put two little hearts I didn't want to cover up that bird so pretty and the little butterfly so I put a little journaling spot down here with this little um, laser cut right here and then I went ahead and um, stuck that little tag on there and then here I made another little journaling card out of the cut apart piece. And I stuck this piece, actually it's supposed to be flipped around the other way, but I didn't want it to get crinkled. So I went ahead and just put it to the inside instead of the outside. And then here, here's another little place for your photo, a little tuck spot for your card. Um, and then here is the mushroom chipboard piece that you can find in the Trace Joe Lee shop. And these are so stinking cute, you guys. I absolutely love how they look. So, so cute. So cute. And, um, you know, they really add a little bit of, you know, cuteness and, you know, for uh, as an embellishment to a card or to your, your uh, mini album. So I think that is super cute. And then here I went ahead and added another little journaling uh, piece of paper down here. And um, if you notice throughout all of these little journaling pieces, now this one doesn't have it, but some of the other ones do. 
I went ahead and just tore these and to kind of give it like a, you know, vintage type torn look and um and because we went ahead and roughed up uh you know we distressed all everything just about everything in this book um i thought it would look really nice and it really gave it that rustic kind of vintagey look and i love that and then here i stuck the two apples a little heart and i put gather here with the little sign another little photo mat and then here I added another little sticker with a heart and then three buttons on the side. And that is the last page. And then on the back, I have the little apples on the back. I love that page. And so that is it, you guys. I think this turned out so stinking cute. I hope you all like it. I absolutely love it. Um, hope you guys give it a try and check out the scrapbook kit. I will have the link for you down below. So thank you for joining me. Take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. Head on over to Trace Jolie to check out their shop. And please like, subscribe, and comment. And come join me for Friday night live shows Friday night at 4.30 p.m. Central Time.